Dang it. <laughs> oh, I'm having some technical difficulties with my tripod. Hey, Sam. My tripod is falling apart on me. Hi, Miss Ladybug. Just trying to finish getting set up and my tripod decided that it wants to fall apart. Hi, Glory. Can you guys hear me? I'm just trying to get set up and I think I'm going to have to find a way to rig my tripod. Wait, I think I... Ah! Oh, are you guys still there? <clears throat> okay, well I guess I'm going to have to do this the difficult way because the screw came out of the part that holds my phone. And I don't know where it disappeared to, so I'm going to have to hold on to my camera. I'm going to have to hold on to my phone for this one. Dang it. That's going to be such a pain in the butt. Um, hmm. I don't know if there's a way... Yeah, it's probably just going to keep falling apart. Give me one minute, you guys. I got to see if I can find a way to rig this so it will stay on my tripod. Sorry, you guys. I was I was trying to be more prepared, but as soon as I started going live, my tripod fell apart on me. Hold on a minute here. I'm going to set my phone down. You guys are going to be looking at the ceiling for a minute. All right. Just give me a minute. I'm going to see if I can find some way to get this to... Hold on a minute. Hey, Mike. Mike. Look on the table and see if the screw to my tripod is on there. <sighs> I'm so sorry, you guys. So unprofessional. I'm so horrible. You guys know I'm always better prepared than this. Can you look on the table and see if the little screw to my tripod fell out up there? Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's just going to be way too hard to try to hold on to the cam. He doesn't see it anywhere. All right. Uh, let's see. What can I do to get this to stay? Uh, it couldn't happen when I was just recording any other video. It has to be during a live one. All right. Let's see. Uh, can you go look in your car and see if it fell out in there? get it on here but I don't think it's gonna stay okay I think I have it don't move anybody don't move anybody don't don't make my phone vibrate <laughs> I think we're good as long as I don't bump into it here's hoping I don't bump into it so, okay, now I need just one more second. Let me turn this a little bit. So that I can get my comments up on my computer. <clears throat> it should have came on a few minutes early. 
I will get better at this, you guys. I promise. Hi, Empty Nest Reborn, Reborn Doll Nursery. I think I have it as long as I don't bump into it. Can you close the door so the dogs don't come down? There you go. All right. Almost there, guys. Almost. Okay, I got it. We're ready to go. Now, it is a little delayed on my computer compared to the phone, so if I miss something, give me a second to look back. I will get back to you guys. Okay, I got it. We're Whew. ready to go. See? Big time delay. Okay, so... First, I want to let you guys know before we get started that Sam from Sam Sam's Reborn Dolls is going to be moderating the comments for me. So thank you, Sam. And I also am going to set my mother as a moderator if I could figure it out. Here we go. Okay, so. My mother is the one who's actually selling this stuff. <clears throat> well, first, I guess I should start out by saying, for those of you who don't already know, if you're here, we are doing Crochet Corner. Yay! And I just decided to go ahead and do it live because I figured it would be easier and I want my mom to be able to be involved with this since this is all about her. So, my mom is in there. She'll, you'll see her through the comment section. I did set her as a moderator, so you'll see the little blue wrench next to her name. So, if you have questions as I'm going about the pricing or anything like that, she will be the one to ask the questions to. So, bear with her if she doesn't get right to you because she's new to this whole thing. But, she's going to do the best she can to answer all of your questions. And if we miss anyone, don't worry. All you'll have to do is when the live is over, you can email me with any of your questions. So is everyone cool with that? All right, so here's how it's gonna go. What we're going to do is I'm going to present. First, I want to say thank you guys all for coming. Thank, thank you for being here. I'm sorry. This thing, the, the tripod thing falling apart kind of got me a little bit all messed up. So I'm a little all discombobulated now. So I've been really excited to do, do this crochet corner with you guys. You know, I figured what, what better way to hang out with everyone than to have a crochet day. Oh, I don't want to hear it, Mother. I'm allowed to make excuses. <laughs> so anyway, how this is going to work. First, hello, everyone. I didn't get to see all your names for who, who all is here. There's 22 people here right now. So yay. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. I know my mom does too. Yesterday, I, I want to say, after we did the one video, you know, giving the introduction of her and showing you guys what we were going to be up to. You all left such amazing comments and words of encouragement. And me and my mother, we really, really appreciate that. It really means a lot to us. So thank you for showing your support. We really appreciate it. So how this is going to work is I'm going to, I'm going to pull the lovies the lovey sets that we showed you guys yesterday um i think we're gonna sell those this week and i may sell the lovies that have the stuffed animal head attached to them 
because Easter's coming up and a lot of what she has is like bunny rabbits. So I figured I will, I want you guys to have an opportunity to be able to get that to you before Easter. So I have the Lovey and Hat and Booty sets all bagged up. So I'm going to have to pull them out of the bag and then I'm going to show you guys one by one what we have. And I have numbers written down. So I'm going to put a number with each one that I show you. Now, I don't want you guys to try to put the orders in during the live because it's just going to be too complicated for my mom or me to try to sit here and write people down or to try to keep track of everybody. So what I want you guys to do is watch through because it's a very wide variety. So you might get interested in one, but then, you know, later on during the live, you might find another one that you like. So watch until I get done presenting them all. And then our sales limited to the USA. I don't mind doing sales outside of the USA as long as you're going to be willing to pay that shipping because it is complicated with the custom fees and everything else. I would have to find out what the shipping would be to get it to you and then take it from there. So we will have to see about that. I mean, if, if you're willing to pay the shipping for us to ship it outside of the USA, I guess that will be up to you. So... So if you guys have any sale questions though, you can feel free to ask my mom. Like I said, she's gonna be throughout the comments. And if we miss anyone, you can ask me questions in my email. I'm gonna put a number to each set that I, that I show you guys. And what I want you to do is after the live, then you can email me with the number that you're interested in purchasing. And it's just easier to do it that way and how it's going to work is it's going to be first come first serve um it does not mean that you can't get the blanket you want but if i only have one like say like this one that i want to show you guys i have rebecca in one and look at how adorable she looks i just love it like i was saying they are the size that will fit you can wrap a premium up I did tuck the bottom through her legs because I wanted you to see the booties, but it is long enough to cover her legs. So look at how adorable, you guys. I just love this one with the ladybugs. And then it has the little booties with the ladybug on it. <laughs> so adorable, isn't it? And then for the bigger babies, all you have to do is it's more of a lobby for them. So I just take take it and I grab the center of it and then I just you know kind of tuck it in their arm and it just even looks cute just for them to hang on to it so so anyway as I was saying say I only have one of this ladybug set okay because right now I do have a bunch well my mother does have a bunch that are made but they're kind of all a different pattern so if more than one of you really likes this ladybug one and I get more than one email it is possible that she can make more of that one, but we might not be able to guarantee that specific pattern. It's just gonna depend on if that material would still be available. So if you have to order one that's not already made, of course you would have to wait a little while for her to be able to make it. And I would have to, um, We'll have to get back to you to let you know if we were able to find that specific pattern or design. So that's how that's going to work because I really don't have um, doubles or triples or anything like that. So make sure you guys watch all the way through so you can see all the different ones. And then after the live, then you can email me. And all you'll have to do is just put what number it was that you were interested in. And I can go back and see what it is, etc., etc. So... Does that make sense to you, to you all? Is Are you guys cool with that? Good, are we good? Are you guys ready to see stuff? Do you have any questions before we get going?
Okay then. So here we go then. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start showing you. The first one we have here, remember I told you guys she has some really cute elephant ones? Well, the one good thing about elephants is there are a lot of different elephant patterns. So, but for right now, these are the ones that we have made. So we would prefer to sell the ones that we already have made than taking orders right now, but it doesn't mean that we won't take orders. So here's the first one and it has little pink elephants. I hope that you guys can see it okay. You know how the lighting is in my house pink elephants and you can see it is pretty big and then it comes with I think she had run out of the elephant buttons so this hat has a fairy on it and then the booties have flowers on it so that is number one and I'll show you one more time you will get the hat and booty set and you will get this lovey with it and the lovey sets with the hat and booties they're going to be $25 per set plus the shipping and handling because we want to make sure that she gets paid for the material the yarn the buttons and the shipping and also of course we want to make sure she gets paid for her time because she she does a really good job you guys i really love her work so that's number one okay here's number two and we will also make sure that when we ship them that you will get a business card with it also. That way, if you want to order future things or if you have other things that you might be interested in making, then you will be able to contact her personally and put your order in with her. Uh, I can adjust the light to an extent, but I know it's just... I'll turn a couple of them and see if that'll make a difference. We'll see if that helps a little. Okay, so for number two, we have this really adorable, colorful butterfly one. Very pretty. Yeah, that does look better. You um, you guys will be paying through me, through my PayPal account, through, through uh, friends and family. And if you do order that way, like I said, the first, the first thing you're gonna do if you wanna order is you're going to email me with the number. And then after you email me, I'll be able to let you know my ID for PayPal so that you could pay through PayPal and i'll have you guys pay through friends and family and then i will make sure that the money goes from me to my mother so there's the butterfly lobby and it comes with this hat and booty set it has a little fairy on it and the booties have fairies I just love these and the yarn is really soft too <laughs> I know I'm silly you guys so that's number two and I'm gonna somewhat kind of keep going so if you have questions feel free my mom will try to get get to them if I miss anybody I'll also be re-watching re this again and I'll be going through the comment section, so hopefully I won't miss anyone's questions, and she won't. But like I said, if you do, email me with the questions, because there's a lot to go through today, and I don't want the live to go for too, too long. We're already at 20 minutes, and I still have a lot to go through. So I'm just going to keep going, all right, you guys? 
so here's number three. We have this cute little hat set with the double colored pom pom and it's got a button. And the booties have a button. And I believe, oh, well, for a second I thought they were wooden buttons. They do look wooden, but they're plastic. So there's that, and that set goes with this lovey. And it says, a star is born all over it. So that's number three. Also, for anyone who's just joining, if you have questions or you want to see the other numbers that weren't, that were already showed, all you'll have to do is just go back and watch the live and you'll be able to rewind it to see what the others were that you missed. Okay. I'm not doing these in any order, I'm just grabbing, so I'm sorry if I show you a bunch of boy stuff and then girl stuff or whatever because that's just the way it's gonna work out so number let me see you did two so far number three is a blue hat and booty set and this one doesn't have buttons probably just because she couldn't find um, matching buttons but there's the hat and booties and then it comes with this really cute train lovey. It's so cute. Every time I see one of these, I want it. I keep telling her, she's one of these days, she's, she's just gonna have to make me a bunch of them because they're so adorable. And they are a soft flannel, like she was saying earlier. They are soft. Make sure that cards are in all the bags. Oh, actually, I think that was number four. Sorry. The gray one with the stars is number three. And the one with the trains is number four. Number five has a pink hat and booty set. And I guess I should have mentioned too that um, these can fit from preemie and up. You probably could fit this, I would say at least preemie to newborn, maybe even zero to three months. So I should have mentioned that. Man, that whole camera falling apart thing really threw me off. <laughs> I was rearing to go, and I was like, I got this. I know what I want to say. And then my camera decided to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> and the pink, and hat, pink hat and booty set goes with this lovey with the little koala bears all over it. Isn't it so cute? And you can also see that some of the designs, some of the edging is a different design, and it's a little bit different. But, so that's number five. Everyone doing okay? Mom, are you keeping up okay? You need me to slow down a little? Or is everyone good? Yeah, she, my mother is very talented. And like I said, this is only one type of the thing that she makes. She makes a lot of different things. But since she had so many of these, I figured it would be a good place to start, so. Hi, Deirdre. Hi, Donna. Hi, April. Hi, Joyful Reborn Mom. Hi, D. Jeffs. Hi, everyone. For everyone who's just coming in. Everyone I didn't say hi to earlier, shame on me. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was number five. 
right. Oh, I like this one. You guys know how much I love the, the safari theme stuff. So what we have here is a hat and booty set. And it's kind of a mustard yellow color with a little lion button on it. And the booties have lion buttons. So cute. And it goes with this lovey that has tigers and lions and elephants and monkeys, giraffes. And I think I got them all. Isn't it cute, you guys? So that is number six. This one is not a flannel material. It's a smooth material. I don't know if you could see that. It's more of like um, sheet material. So I just wanna, if I feel any fabrics that are a little different, I will let you guys know. But so far, except for this one, they've all been flannel. Okay, cotton, sorry, mom. It's like a cotton sheet, kind of. See, she'll get on me. If I mess up, man, she will get on me. That's a, what she's there for, right, mom? <laughs> okay, that was number six. I gotta remember to throw my numbers in there. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to keep watching my video over and over. Okay, number seven. In fact, I'm just gonna put the number in there first so I don't forget. We have mustard yellow again. And this time the hat and booty set has little butterflies on it. And it comes with another one of those really pretty rainbow colored butterflies. Hi Ann, thank you for coming. <clears throat> so that was number seven. All right, still a lot to go you guys. <laughs> Okay, number eight, we have this darker gray hat and booty set. With this really cute giraffe lovey. It's okay, and you're not late. As long as you're here, it's never too late. So that was number eight. I'm trying to go fast, you guys, but I don't want to go too fast because then you won't get a chance to really get a good look. So here is a light blue hat and booty set and that comes with this lobby and it's kind of hard to see because they're really little but there's little tiny stars all over it and I should have said earlier too they are two-sided so it's not two sides were brought together with the crochet So that is number nine. I'm glad my phone hasn't moved yet because I keep just top tossing these onto the floor and bumping into my camera. Ugh. Okay, you guys, here's one of my favorites. I love this one. I bet you guys can guess why. <laughs> K 
Can you guys guess why I'm going to love this next one? Elephants! So this one comes with a white hat and booty set. And it has elephants with little birdies all over it. It's so cute. See the little birds on the elephant's back? <laughs> so that is number 10. Elephants, I want it, I need it. I know, right? She, there are so many really cute elephant materials out there. And it's good because they can be for a boy or a girl, especially if you get the ones with gray material. Deirdre, you'll probably like this one too. So that one was, yeah, number 10. And this one is number 11. We have this little light blue hat and booty set. And it comes with this safari theme. It's very colorful. It has elephants, lions, little palm leaves, butterflies. Do I have a double jointed thumb? <laughs> Why do you ask? <laughs> so that one is number 11. So for anyone new who, who's come in over the last few minutes, welcome. I'm glad you're here. So I'm just showing these hat, booty, and lobby sets. They're going for $25 for the set plus shipping. And you guys can email me with any, any other questions you might have and to place your orders. Do not place your orders in here, okay, you guys? Because it's just too complicated to run the live and take orders. <clears throat> so, number 12. We have this really cute hat and booty set. This is one of my favorites. This is a really, really popular set, you guys. The little hat and booty set, and it has car buttons. Isn't that so cute? Look at the cars. <laughs> it's so adorable. <clears throat> And then it comes with this monster truck lovey. Super colorful. <laughs> Isn't that cute, you guys, for a boy? <laughs> so that is number 12. So just to be on the safe side, in case I missed any of these, um, any of the numbers up, which I don't think I have, but just in case, when you guys email me, put the number and then just put something like trucks or elephants or whatever, just because I just want to make sure that I have the right one. But I am trying, so far I think I've done a good job of keeping them in order, but. <clears throat> so that was number 12. Okay, let's see here. We're getting there, you guys. Here's another good one, Deirdre, Deirdre. And for all of you who love elephants, here is a dark blue hat and booty set. And this cute little elephant pattern. It just has little elephants all over it. So that is number 13. Am I going slow enough for you guys? Are you getting a good look at everything? <laughs> I know, I elephant material is so cute. Okay. 
Because <clears throat> if I need to slow down, just tell me. I'm trying to go somewhat quickly, but I don't want to go too quick either. So that was number... Okay. So for number 13, we have pink hat and booty set. Make sure I have it turned the right way. I guess that might help. And we have another safari theme for a girl. Tigers, elephants, giraffes, lions, hippos. I think I got them all. So that is <clears throat> number 13. Alrighty, number 14. Deirdre, you can order through my email. It's going to be first come, first serve because it's just too complicated to try to take orders during the live. So that's why I'm placing a number to the set. That way you can email me and just say, hey, I'm interested in this number. I can let you know what number I have. And if I don't have your number, then there is a chance that she can still make that same one. It's just going to depend on if we can find that material. But if not, we can probably find something that is at least close to that theme. Is that okay, Mom? If, if they don't find, if they, I don't have the one they want anymore, is it okay if they order still? Or... So the next one is number 14. Yes, Lorraine is my mom. Okay, so mom says, yeah. So say it's the, you like the elephant one and I run out of the elephant ones. There's always all kinds of different elephant materials. So what, what we could do is maybe look and see what kind of material is out there and then I can get back to you on the themes if if we sell the one that you wanted before you get a chance to get it. So this next one is number 14. It has a pink hat and booty set with butterflies. And it comes with this cute unicorn lovey. See how the material is kind of two-toned? I love that. It's like marbled, kind of, I guess is what you would say. So cute. So that is number 14. Tomina, it's never too late. As long as the live is going still and you're here, you are not late, my friend. Okay. Number 15. We have white hat and booty set with little trains. Look at how cute. <laughs> and then it comes with the Choo Choo Train Lovey. So that is number 15. To the last few of the Lobby Hat and Booty sets. So for number 16, we have this mustard colored hat and booty set with teddy bears.
And it comes with the matching Teddy Bear Lovey. So that is number 16. And for number 17, we have pink hat and booty set with butterflies. That comes with this koala lovey. The koala bears are so super cute too, aren't they, you guys? <laughs> So that is 17. And the last hat and booty set, hat, oh, excuse me, you guys. The last hat and booty set and lovey that comes with that is number 18. And it comes with this dark gray hat and booty set. This one does not have booties. Or excuse me, this one does not have buttons. <laughs> there I go again, you guys, mixing up my words. <laughs> uh, the, I can't use being sick as an excuse anymore because I'm feeling much better today. And here is the adorable little lovey. Uh-oh, there goes my dogs. Here is the beautiful little lovey that goes with the gray hat and booty set. It just has little moons, clouds, and stars all over it. So that is what we have. That was number 18, you guys. That is what we have as far as the hat and booty sets with the lovey that is already made. So that was number 18. Are you guys bored or would you like me to show you the loveys with the stuffed animal heads? Where are we at here? 43 minutes? I have enough time. Do you guys wanna see them today or do you wanna wait? until next week. Um, I don't think I have two 13s. You're enjoying it? Okay, keep going. All right, we'll keep going. Like I said, um, I'm not going to sit here and say hopefully I didn't miss any numbers or that I didn't get them mixed up, but just in case I did, when you guys email me, make sure you email the number, but also email the pattern. That way I can make sure I have the correct one. You could say like blue elephant or the blue train one with the white trim or whatever. Be, I'm pretty sure I've kept a pretty close eye on the numbers though. So I think we're okay, but okay, well, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys the, um, the lobbies. This is a different type of lobby. Sam and mom, go ahead. If you need to tell them my email, you can. Skylana1979. That's S-K-Y-L-A-N-A-1979 at gmail.com. And a lot of you already know, I always make sure to put that in the description box. So when this is over, I'll make sure to go back in there and put my email in there for you guys too. So this is a different kind of lobby that my mom makes. I am so in love with these. They're perfect for sending in boxes if any of you are artists and you want things to ship with babies. And they're just perfect to have in the crib or to have your baby hang on to. 
if you're going to be getting them for your own baby. So the first one I have here is this cute little frog. <laughs> so you can see the head is not quite as big as my hand, so it's not like huge. It's about the standard lovey size, like what you would buy from the store. So there's that one. And we will say that he is number 19, 19. I'm gonna have to get some more bags. These are the ones I have to be careful not to mix up because these ones aren't in bags. Okay, and then we have this cute little teddy bear one. They've been packed away for a little while, so sorry if the anything's a little misshapen. It's just because they were all packed up, but here's a teddy bear one. really cute and these are going to be sold for ten dollars plus shipping but obviously if you order more than one thing it's still going to be the same price for shipping so you don't they're not going to be shipped to you separately if you order more than one thing it's going to all go in the same package okay now we have some bunny rabbit ones and this is why I wanted to, I was going to wait until next week to show these, but since Easter's coming up, that's why I decided to go ahead and show these to you guys. We have a girl bunny rabbit with the brighter pink. And she's got a little pink bow on her head. So there's that one. And that is number 20. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. I think that was actually 21. This teddy bear is number 20. Sorry, you guys. Ugh. Man, I'm a mess today. I'll tell you what. I When am I ever this disorganized, you guys? I'm never this disorganized. Horrible. <laughs> All right, so the pink bunny that I just showed you is number 21. Okay, just want to make sure. Number 22 is blue for boy bunny. So that is number 22. And number 23 is blue and white bunny rabbit. And the last one I have, I think it's the last one, yep. We have this cute little chick that can be for a boy or a girl. And it's yellow and white. It's kind of hard to see. All right, there we go. adorable and that is number 24 on uh, the mouse and a couple of other things are set aside because they were already sold thank you miss ladybug thank you Tamina so that's what we have to show for this week. We're almost out an hour, so I'm not going to keep you guys too long. I know you're excited to start sending emails. Um, the big elephant, I actually don't have. Mom um, has that for safekeeping at her house. I know. I should have... See, Mom? You should have let me bring it. You should have let me bring it. But if you look back in my other video, you'll be able to see it. You say I have it, Mom? All right, well, let me go see if I have it. Bear, bear with me for a minute. I'll go see if I have the big elephant. I have to run upstairs, so hold on a minute, you guys.
Don't touch the camera though, because it'll fall. It'll fall. Tyler wants to say hi. Hi everyone. What's no, up? They can't see you. Yes, they can. No, they can't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's Tyler, the goofy, the goofy one. Only when I want to be. Okay, so yeah, I don't have. Mom has the elephant at her house. I don't have it here, so I can't show it to you guys. But if you look back in my other video, then you'll be able to see him. So, so anyhow, I think that is going to be it for our first crochet corner. Does anybody have any questions? And like I said, all you guys have to do is just email me. All the payments will go through my PayPal account. So when you email me, I'll give you that information so you'll know how to pay. And just make sure that you guys put a little description, put the number. And then, right, if you guys, if I don't have your number available, you could still put the order in. We still um, ask for the money ahead because that is what she will be using to purchase any material or yarn that she needs to. So if you want to still put the order in, you will just have to wait a little while for her to get it made if the one you want is already sold. And if we can't find the exact material, then I'm sure like dogs. They want treats. Give them a treat so they'll stop. <laughs> Whenever Tyler comes downstairs, the dogs think thinks that uh, it's treat time. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, like the stars, oh. moons, elephants. I have to open it. Gee. Hurry up! Hurry up. <laughs> Stars, moons, elephants, or anything that's kind of like general like that, they usually, we usually can find something. It might not be the exact material like what I showed you today, but we, we can usually find something. Dogs are like children. They want your attention always, for sure. All my dogs sleep with me. I know that's horrible, <laughs> but uh, yeah. All my dogs sleep with me. Who needs stuffed animals when you have three dogs to sleep with? <laughs> uh, so anyway, looks like you're going to be busy. Yep, mom is definitely gonna probably be busy, but this is what she wants. She needs it, so. Exactly, the dogs are our family. Why not sleep with them? Anne has two cats and they do the same thing. <laughs> I don't think I would be able to sleep if I didn't have at least one of the dogs laying with me. So, is everybody good to go? We're at just about an hour here. Anybody have any other questions? Okay, so I just want to put a couple reminders out there. If you haven't already seen it, I am starting a new schedule. It's just going to make things a lot less complicated for me. It's going to be able to make it easier for me to balance my time between painting and doing YouTube videos. So I'm actually trying out a set schedule of how my whole channel is going to do, or how my whole channel is going to go. And the next video that I'll be posting up should be Thursday and that's going to be theatrical Thursday so you guys will have a role play to look forward to and then let's see Friday is Frilly Friday yay and then Saturday I'm going to be back live and this time it's going to be you guys and me one-on-one -on -one getting to talk away and whatever else I can think of by then. So I'm really looking forward to that because I really enjoy hanging out with you guys and talking with you guys. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely, definitely. And then Sunday, I do want to tell you guys about one more thing real quick, just so maybe it'll give you a little bit of time to be prepared. Sunday, I am starting a new children's corner. I feel like, you know, 
it's kind of upsetting to in my opinion in a way that so the children my children fans my teen fans they're left out of everything not a lot of channels include children so i want to give them their own special day so i'm going to be starting children's corner on sundays and i just got a new thing um became eligible on my account which is the super chat so my hope with the super chat what if you guys don't know what that is and i don't have it enabled for today's live because i didn't want to get donations since this is a sale video but what super chat is is you're able to purchase a comment basically it gets my attention so that i will notice you easier and the, what I want is for the donations to go towards Children's Corner because I would like to buy some books. I want to do contests for the kids. I want to just be able to do some really fun things for them. So during my Saturday live show, um, during my live show on Saturday, I am going to enable the super chat. It's not a requirement and I am by no means begging for donations but any of the donations that I am able to get on Saturday is going to go right to Children's Corner because I really want to be able to plan out some really special things for the kids. So I just think it's about time that we get some of our younger, you know, our younger audience involved with our reborn, reborn doll world and everything. So you know what I mean? So I just wanted to put that out there. That way you guys will be aware of it. My super chat will be on. If you guys want to donate on Saturday, you can. I'm not sure what the amounts are because I haven't ever done this before, but I think it goes anywhere from a dollar and up. So it's not anything that's a real big deal, but I want you guys to know now that if you, if you are willing to donate, that money is going to be um, being donated right to the children's corner so anyway i think that i'm going to go ahead and close this out for today could you show a couple of things misty we already went through all of our stuff for today so if you missed it um we're i'm just getting ready to end the live and then you'll be able to go back and watch Alrighty. tomina says she'll be ordering an elephant from you soon Um, I would, I would love to accept donations for the Children's Corner. Um, I don't want to share my personal address live online. So if that's something you would be interested in doing, you can email me about that. That would be great. Because yeah, um, I'm not going to wait to start it. I'm going to be starting this Sunday. And I'm probably just going to be like reading a book to them or something for this first one. Because I'm not 100% prepared for it yet. Um, right now I'm prepared for our giveaways. You know, for, for the ladies. For the older ladies and everything. But I don't have anything that is ready for the children's corner yet. And... Um, so yeah, um, it doesn't have to be a money donation if you guys don't want to do the super chat. If you want to send probably the types of things I would be looking for is just like, you know, they have like a $5 store or a dollar store even where you could get like crayons, coloring books, reading books, kind of little things like that that I'll be able to use as, con you know, um, contest prizes for the kids. And I want to be able to read to the kids, and I just want to be able to do different things. And I'm not 100% prepared. I do have a few things so that I'll be able to start out this week. And then I'm really going to have to start getting things together because I want to really make this a long, ongoing thing for the kids. So I just think, you know... We need to expand our viewing audience, you know. I understand why all of the doll channels have been trying to stay away from working with minors and everything, but I think that there shouldn't be limitations as to who should be involved in the reborn doll community. I think really think that we should widen our audience and 
you know, we should involve children too. It's fun, it's fun for them too, you know, and what little girl doesn't enjoy dolls? So my dolls are going to be involved. My dogs are going to be involved. I have plans. I have a lot of plans for it. I'm really excited about it. So, but I don't want to take away from mom's sale, but I did just want to put that out there so you could be a little prepared. Um, because um, when I when I do my live on Saturday, I am hoping that some people will be willing to um, take advantage of that super chat to help out the kids. So yes, my mom is very talented. But okay, you guys, we are at an hour, so I don't want to keep you any longer. I really, really enjoyed being here. Oh my goodness. See. I asked the kids to not come in and out while I was doing a live, but you know how it is. So anyway, I'll give you guys a minute to say bye to each other and then I'm going to get off of here for today. So I really appreciate you all being here. I had a lot of fun. I, I know I didn't get to talk to you all as much, but our chance to talk will be Saturday. So, but okay. Bye mom. Bye Deirdre. Bye Empty Nest Reborn. Bye, everybody. You guys are great. Thank you for being here. I'll be looking forward to all of your emails. Bye, love for reborns. Bye, Teresa Terry. Bye, everyone. We'll see you next time.